Um, hello, everyone. We're here for the Wikidata uh, user digest presentation. Uh, it will be done by um, Tobias and me. Um, I'm Lydia, the product manager of Wikidata. Tobias is a very cool editor from Wikidata. How do I? Uh -huh. All right. So Wikipedia, uh, or Wikimedia as a whole, has this vision of a world in which every single human being can freely share in the sum of all knowledge. Um, but I think everyone would agree that we are still very far away from that. For example, we have nearly 300 Wikipedia language editions, but only 78 of those have an article about Zika, which is quite an important topic that people should be able to uh, learn more about. <clears throat> or put it differently, this is English Wikipedia. Every article with a geo coordinate on English Wikipedia gets a dot on this map. So for example, this village has a dot on this map. Now, while this map shows quite a uh, bias between the north and the south, for example, you can see the world. Now, if you look at the same thing for Spanish Wikipedia, um, that already starts to look very different. Or if you look at Russian Wikipedia, or at Farsi, or Japanese. For some reason, Japanese people really like Italy. <laughs> so clearly, we are not um, giving everyone access to the sum of all human knowledge. And this is one of the main reasons we started Wikidata. Wikidata is all about giving more people more access to more knowledge. <clears throat> but what is Wikidata, actually? Uh, it's a knowledge base. It's free and open. It's created collaboratively, just like Wikipedia. And it's multilingual. Um, those are a lot of buzzwords. Uh, this is what it actually looks like. Um, this is the uh, page about the Mona Lisa, the painting in Wikidata. And you can see um, its name, that it is a painting, its name in many different languages that it was um, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, and much more. And if you go further down, you will see links to a lot of other databases um, that describe the M Mona Lisa painting as well. Now, once you have this, you can build a lot of really cool things. But before we get to those cool things, um, one important thing to keep in mind that, yes, Wikidata is a project and it's about data, but much more important is that Wikidata is a community and not just a place to, to put some data. Um, nonetheless, we have a lot of data, and you can do really cool things with it. So, for example, your project, like Wikipedia, Wikivoyage, Wiktionary, and so on, um, can find easily connections to other databases, like VF or uh, the Internet Movie Database, or the German National Library, and so on, to be able to then learn more in those more specialized databases about the topic you're looking at. And of course, you can use the data that is actually on Wikidata. Like, um, on Wikipedia, you can build your info boxes in a way that they use data from Wikidata, like the date of birth, or the coordinate of a, of a place, and so on. Here you can see one Wikipedia article on English Wikipedia, um, South Pole Telescope. The info box you see in this article is coming completely fr um, from Wikidata. There's just one line in the wiki text to create this info box. And there's quite a few more. Um, but in my opinion, obviously not enough yet. Um, and you can do more with, these, um, with the data in Wikidata. Like, you can query it. Um, this is a query showing the, um, the cause of death uh, of um, US presidents, for example, based on um, 
on the distribution. Or here you can see a list of uh, space probes that Wikidata knows about. Or here you have a map of lighthouses in Norway. Or here you have um, the profession of the people that were mentioned in the Panama Papers. But you cannot just use this data inside Wikimedia, you can also do a lot of cool things with it outside Wikimedia. Uh, like Histropedia. Histropedia is a, a project that has a tagline, a timeline of everything. And what they do is basically let you build a timeline of about a certain thing. For example, this is a timeline of the works of um, Leonardo da Vinci. And you can create these timelines in many different ways. One of them is querying Wikidata. Or here, uh, that's um, a website called Some of All Knowledge, where you can go, for example, to a page about a museum and see what kind of paintings they have, what kind of artists they, they have an exhibition, uh, and much more. Or here we have an, a website called Inventair. It's a website where you can say, I have a bunch of books and um, I'm willing to give them away to people. And it's a very flashy website um, that was built in, in a relatively short time with the help of Wikidata. So for example, this page about Victor Hugo um, uses data from Wikidata to present more information about the author to the user on, on, on Inventair. Or we have Uli, the uh, Finnish broadcasting agency, who use Wikidata concepts to tag their news articles. Um, they have articles in many different languages. Um, ma the major ones are Finnish, Swedish, and English. And they use Wikidata to, to tag their articles um, and have a controlled vocabulary. Or here, which I think is probably the coolest thing um, we have on, around Wikidata so far, it's called Ask Platypus. And you can ask it a natural language question, like who is the director of her, the movie, and it will go to Wikidata and uh, find that it was Spike Jonesy. And then, as I said earlier, one of the main goals of Wikidata is that you um, give more people more access to more knowledge. And one of the major areas where we can actually do this is small Wikipedias. Wikipedias that currently don't have a lot of content and editors, but that Wikidata really can help reach more uh, readers and thereby hopefully also gain more editors and more content. And one of the major uh, ways we support those small Wikipedias is something called an article placeholder. When uh, someone searches on those small Wikipedias for a um, specific topic where that Wikipedia does not have an article yet, but where Wikidata has data about it, we present a small fact sheet based on the data that Wikidata has and encourage people to become editors and write the article about this topic. Um, we've um, put this live on the first Wikipedia just recently and um, I hope we'll see a big improvement for those small Wikipedias now. And with that, I hand over. I will still say some words about the community, which is oftentimes hard to get to introduce yourself into a new community. And the first thing we want to say is uh, that we want a thriving ecosystem. So not everything can be on Wikidata, but only the amount of data that the community can actually support. So if you want to bring a lot of data into our community, you will probably also have to bring a lot of people and man hours into our community. And what we also care about a lot is data quality. So if you add a lot of data, we will also ask you where your references are and your algorithms should maybe add these references or you should also provide them in a way that we can easily um, import these references into Wikidata. Um, and next, we also want to say the world is, a, is complicated. So we try to put very little restrictions on the way you model your, your data. You can, you can propose any kind of property, create any kind of items, and we don't really restrict any of these relations that you give between those items. So 
you can really uh, model cases where two references disagree with something. So one taxonomist will say the animal belongs to one group and the other source will say this uh, animal belongs to another group. And Wikidata can handle such discrepancies. Um, and the world is also really complicated, so that's why we really don't want to restrict it. If we would restrict mayors to human beings, we, for example, couldn't show that a cat in Alaska is already has been the mayor of a town for, I think, a number of years. And as usual, the place where you can get to know us is the project chat. Uh, Wikidata is a centralized project, but the pages that need to be multilingual are multilingual, so you will find a project chat called Bistro Bar or any of the other words that might be used for it. And we also have really cool wiki projects, which where all the very domain-specific discussions take place, so we have a really nice project for music and also for books, where we talk about how to store metadata for books and other publications, but also even more specialized projects, for example, one that deals only with genes, proteins, and modeling disease in gene interactions and how they are connected to diseases and everything you could imagine. So no matter how complicated your data or uh, interest is, I think the community can handle it now. And of course, we also have other ways of keeping up. If you want to keep up with us or just interested or want to ask like a question that you don't want to put on Wiki, we of course have a hashtag and a mailing list and any other channels that you want to reach out also now at the conference in person. Um, yeah, and this is already it. This is your time where you can ask questions and we will answer them. Uh, thank you for the excellent presentation. I am um, the admin of Urdu Wikipedia. My name is Muzammil. Um, I want to ask the question, one question that uh, is the English language probably the only source of linking with other distinct uh, language articles on Wikidata? Because my experience is recently I had a, a created one article in Urdu on one uh, personal, uh, personality based in Kerala. I don't know Malayalam language. So what I did was I went to Wikidata, I searched for that person in English. The article is not available in English Wikipedia. So you, what you f I found was description is available. And with the help of that description, I was able to link that. But because of this uh, helpful thing, what I uh, did was for articles which are not available anywhere, I'm leaving the English description there. So the point is, uh, is this probably the only way we, we connect it, or is there any other mechanism to ensure that uh, all uh, uh, wiki articles, regardless of the language, are interconnected? OK. okay. Um, so this is definitely um, one of the ways. Another way is uh, a Wikidata game. Um, a Wikidata game. So Magnus Manske has built uh, quite a few really cool games that ask you a simple question, and based on your answer, you make an edit in Wikidata. One of those games, for example, is one where you get shown a Wikipedia article, and it asks you, is it about a person or not? Another one is about, is this person male or female? Uh, did this person study at this university or not? And so on. And another one of those games is where it asks you, is uh, this Wikipedia article about the same topic as this other Wikipedia article? And it tries to figure this out on, on some heuristic and make the suggestion to, to you, and you, you say yes or no. If you say yes, it will connect them on Wikidata. Um, yes, that is another way where how, how, this, um, how this works currently. But I'm sure we can come up with a few more cool tools for the future. Well, if there are no more questions, uh, I want to say thank you, and I hope we'll see you on Wikidata.